Blackout license plates are popping up all over Iowa. Woodbury County officials tell us that hundreds have been handed out locally. And as Rachel Droz shows us tonight, state inmates are working overtime to keep up with the demand. For eight hours a day, 17 men at Anamosa State Penitentiary work to meet the demand for blackout license plates. I have a white Range Rover with black trim, and so these will complement my Range Rover perfectly. Demand for these plates came as a surprise to state officials. So since July 1st, we've collected an additional $850,000 just for the issuance of the blackout plates. Some counties are even running out of the stock they've been given. And again, we're restocking that inventory as quickly as we can. So who's behind the restocking? Well, it's these guys. Inmates at Anamosa State Penitentiary, a medium and maximum security prison. This is where the process all begins. I'm here inside the print room where these images are printed onto these giant rolls of vinyl sheeting. These rolls are then taken out here and loaded onto this machine where they're adhered to the aluminum. Right over here, that is then fed down through this machine where it's punched, inspected, packaged up, and then sent off to local county treasurer's offices. On an average day, we do anywhere from five to six rolls, which equal about 10 to 12,000 plates per day. More than half the plates the inmates are making are blackout plates. The license plate program offers inmates a chance to gain life skills. They're also paid for the work they do. Wages range from 56 to 81 cents an hour. Each individual is trained on each equipment, which takes around uh, three to six months to be completely trained. This is just one of several jobs inmates can get while doing their time, but not everyone is awarded the opportunity. Inmates have to earn that right. And that comes with good behavior, no reports, um, uh, following the procedures that are conducted here at Animal State Penitentiary.